this drop arm, I usually do from behind like this. From the front's fine. I just found that very often students would students get in like awkward positions where you're just <laughs> like this, or you're kind of like straddling your knees. You know, uh, you're like you're small <laughs> enough where that wouldn't be a problem when I can get close enough to you, but you get a taller individual and it's going to be hard to do that. So I'll usually just put a knee on the back of the table here. And this, you know, it's not, this isn't a bad position for me at all. It, do, it doesn't make it any harder or any easier. But I just like this, so I'm going to put your arms down like that. Thumbs down like that. Just bring your arms in like that. A little bit higher. And hold your arms up there. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to like up. Hold them up. Okay, good. Now very, very slowly and controlled, bring them down to your side. All the way down to your legs. Look at the pain or the inability to do any of that, or if one arm drops, that's why it's called the drop arm test. So now, uh, keeping your arms in that same position, so a little bit forward like that, keeping your thumbs down, yeah, just bring your arms up a little bit higher, there we go, and now slowly bring them down, good, that's up to 10, or, so now we can actually do it from the very beginning, put your palms out like this, bring them up all the way to your side like that, a little bit forward, thumbs down, and drop them down. That would be more uh, specifically empty can bring them up and bring them up. And as we, uh, as we'll see when we do the impingement test, that internal rotation actually uh, closes off the space in between the humerus and the acromion, and that's why uh, we're going to we're going we're to actually use that in a second for impingement test. So now um, let's go ahead and just bring your arm off this leg here like that. So I do like to do infraspinatus and teres minor in the, in the scapular plane because it, it has been shown via research uh, that testing those muscles in this plane is a lot more specific to testing those muscles than anything else. But the important part with, with if we're testing any internal or external rotation, we have to stabilize this elbow because if you don't, they're going to push back and that's neither internal nor external rotation. So what I need to do is cut this elbow like that. And then I'm not going to cross the wrist, but I'm going to push into your hand like that. Don't let me do that. There we go. So I'm trying to push into internal rotation. She's using her inverse tomatoes and Terry's minor to push back on it. Um, for five seconds, just like we did for the motor test. That's good. But we could, let's say you're a swimmer or you, you know, play baseball or something like that. I could test it up here. Too. You see how that works? I could test it down here. I could test it down here. It almost needs to be at 90 degrees, though, right? What's that? When you're testing the rotation, or does it matter? Like the elbow. It, yeah, the elbow needs to be at 90 degrees. Yeah, just because if it's not, it's going to be hard for them to produce that motion. Like, to do external rotation my shoulder here, it's that. To do it here, it's much easier to put the elbow. Um, you know, you can do it in a lot of different uh, positions. Like this one, because it has been shown to be very specific to those muscles. So, subscapularis, you could do Gerber's liftoff, or I can just keep the patient in this position and say, go ahead and keep your arm there, don't let me push it out. So instead, I'm trying to push her arm out like this, and she's using her subscapularis to push down to internal rotate. I can do it down here. This is another test. Uh, I think it's called Napoleon's test. I don't think we, we used to have it in here. Yeah. Um, it's, go ahead and put it right near your belly. This has been shown to be very specific to subscapularis. Keep your elbow there, don't let go your hand there. So I'm trying to do this, she's pulling in like that. So this position seems to be real uh, uh, similar to behind the back. <coughs> I'm getting subscapularis to fire more than anything else. Because what other muscles do internal rotation of the humor? Terry's major. Because minor we tested with it. Lats. Lats, pecs, those all do internal. So up here, those are probably going to fire, even, even in here. But down in here, those probably aren't, but short. Pex is short, and so is lat, so is teres major. So it's a little bit more specific to subscapularis. It doesn't really matter that much, uh, especially when we're doing the rotator cuff test because those muscles are rarely, rarely affected. If, you, if somebody walked in your office, or if any of you have ever had a rotator cuff tear that's been diagnosed by somebody and not that you diagnosed yourself because you had shoulder pain, um, chances are it was, it was supraspinatus. That's, you know, nine times out of ten, if somebody tears a, a rotator cuff muscle, it's super stimulus, more than anything else. But we do want you to understand how to do the muscle test. So let's do speeds, concentric, eccentric, uh, drop arm test.